I'm gonna love you What's up everybody, my name is WolverGuy and welcome back to, I, I think back to Division, it's been a long time since I made a video on this, and the Season 6, or the 6th global event, if you will, has came out on Thanks. Division, and you can check all that out after you get past the 5 minute fucking loading screen, I swear this loading screen's worse than GTA, back on GTA, or GTA 5 on PS3, you know, or Xbox, you know, 360, you, you know what I'm saying with that you know but with that being said we're gonna get into this video and so onslaught is here we're gonna talk about onslaught as you guys can see i am looking at the part one right here there's two pages of it right here and if you guys don't know if it's basically telling you if you don't know what global events are you pretty much can do certain missions which there's five missions that i will talk about later in this video and all that and also there's three brand new masks that i will show later in the video as well but it's pretty much just, it's a tutorial basically as it says in the top left hand corner there uh it pretty much tells you do the events you get global uh credits out of it and you can uh, get caches out of that so and it tells you with the second onslaught it tells you you can go to the weapon vendor or not the weapon vendor but the cash vendor in the global event portion of the terminal and you can buy caches which I am going to in this video so you guys can see what I can pull out of this so with a further ado let's get into this now before I get into anything in the global event, I want to talk to I want to talk about the special blueprints vendor guys. If you have Phoenix credits and you're looking into cuz this just reset earlier this week, I believe, and they have one for the Lova which isn't the best, but if you guys really need a Lova that bad, I mean go for it. It won't be the best. But, I mean, if you really need to use something, go ahead. They have one for the SASG as well. I think they have some for some suppressors or a suppressor and some other stuff. So, it's definitely worth looking into. So, the global event just dropped. And you have a week and a half to do as much as you can with these caches. And pretty much with the global event, it tells you what's going on on Slot, Savage, and Brutal. With, um, what is pretty much, I'm going to kind of just... Uh, simplify it for you guys is with onslaught they have you know three different abilities here as you can see you can do burn bleed or gas now I don't know if this is true or not but if you mix and match the same one so say if they have gas and you have gas I think you do more damage I'm not sure if that's true or not but if that's true let me know in the comments below and so you know if you have burn it's gonna hurt them you know but if they're resistant to a certain type of them it's not gonna do as much damage but if you you know got a striker build like i do uh, i don't think that's gonna be that big of a problem for you unless you're running something else if you're really super squishy and you need to get better stuff too i guess i don't know what the best advice for it is but maybe run defense or have your friends help you through the missions and just sit back and it, kind of shoot them behind cover and hopefully you don't get rushed by them i really don't I know like um but you could probably do pretty good with any of these builds that they're going to have out uh so i'm pretty sure they're going to i don't think they have striker this time but they do have predatory they do have lone star they have reclaimer which i'm going to get a reclaimer build just because i really want one and predatory and i know predatory is like really toxic in this game and i want to have it for one reason only if i'm going into pvp and that's all i'm coming across is uh predator you know skill or not predator well just predator builds let's let's say that and i'm just i uh, I want to have that because if you have striker it just melts your fucking health so uh, that that's the that's the bad thing about it but you know get fire with fire you know what i'm saying so they do have firecrest lone star uh and the other ones i just talked about in this video but i have enough credits to buy a reclaimer if i wanted to right now but that's no fun that's not fun at all because you guys are going to see what i get out of it you know i'm going to get reclaimer stuff i want to see i want to test my luck with the season six cash i believe that's what it's called it was a superior you know whatever whatever you want to fucking call it it's it's there in the gold right there so i'm gonna buy this a uh, couple times 
and we're gonna see what I can pull out of it and hopefully I can pull some reclaimer or some stuff I really need or some predatory stuff if uh, if not oh well I guess like uh, looks like I'm gonna be grinding a little bit more then huh so we're gonna go into my inventory and we're gonna go straight into the caches or the bundles and we're gonna see what we can pull out of it so the first one we're gonna get an exotic oxygen mask and some Firecrest and Lone Star stuff. I already have that oxygen mask for uh, at a better level, so that's kind of an L right there. The second one, we're gonna pull Firecrest pat or uh, mask and Predator's mask as well. So the Predator's mask works. Uh, if I'm gonna pull a bunch of Firecrest stuff, I guess I'll make a Firecrest build down the line. I, I don't know. And this last one, we're gonna pull a Firecrest vest and Firecrest knee pads. So, uh, I just pulled most of the fucking shit I need with a Firecrest, uh, I think, what, I pulled, like, four, four of those things right there out of six. So, I mean, I didn't really want to make a Firecrest, but maybe I guess I can make one down the line. So, I'm going to put all this stuff in my stash right quick, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so the next thing I want to talk about in today's video is the new events that are out for global events. So we have five of them that you can do, and I think a couple, I think one of them is an incursion, I believe. Um, if I'm wrong, please let me know. And so you're going to have Stolen Signal, the Warren Gate Power Plant, Police Academy, you got the uh, Broadway mission, and you got Russian Consulate. So I'm going to assume those medical missions at the bottom are probably going to be somewhat easier and stolen signal is probably going to be a bitch i have done the power plant mission before and that one's just kind of drawn out so if you're trying to do that by yourself it's really hard uh, you could probably do it by uh with one other person maybe if uh you guys both have decent builds i don't know it'll really depend it's a, it's a whole situational thing it really there's a lot of stuff that weighs what if this and that and all that but those are the five missions and that are pretty much it and i'm just scrolling through the list to see if there's anything else out of the blue but that's going to be the five missions right there and the next thing we're going to talk about is the masks now i'm going to put a screenshot of the masks up right now if i do have one if i don't i apologize but there are three masks and you can see i'm scrolling down the list right now just to see which one or what's uh going on with all of these i'm kind of i pre-recorded this so i'm kind of looking reading at what you have to do with all these but the first one is full house and you can see you basically just have to kill 200 enemies which each uh elemental damage right there and I don't know if there's tiers because in the last global event there was tiers. I would not be surprised if it went from 200 to 300 to 400 a piece, but that would be a lot. And you can see for the second one, you got to kill uh, kill count. You got to kill five enemies in a row with, I believe, the same damage or the same event or uh, element they can see i can't really see because when i'm recording this it adds track to and it shows my microphone uh just like a giant screen my microphone and then it shows like a small screen of what's going on right there so that is the second one right there i believe that's what it said if not you guys can see what it says on the screen i can't see it and the last one i believe is the yeah the kill count the full house and can, uh, hey John, can you kind of scroll down the list to see the last one? That is the last one right there, I'm pretty sure. Never enough. Complete all events and onslaught playlists. So that means you just got to do all five uh, missions right there. Like I said, I don't know how hard these are going to be. I don't know the damage or the uh, difficult or difficulty modifiers with this. So, um, you know, if you got a few friends that have some decent, decent uh, builds that can help you through the global event. You know, uh, that that's great. If not, then, well, you're going to have to go make some friends, I guess. I don't know. Or just try and matchmake and hopefully you get paired up with some good people like that. But that is going to be it for the video, guys. I'm kind of just looking through everything. What else you got to do? There's some different patches. But those are the masks right there. I think they all look really cool. Uh, I don't know why they added, like, a kind of an Asian style mask. I'm not trying to be racist with that, but it's like... Um, a couple operations ago for Siege, they had, you know, the 
Asian uh, festival. Kind of, I can't remember Blood Blood Orchid, I think it was called, and you know they added uh, a bunch of stuff like that, the skins and you know, all that. Um, not necessarily masks, unless you count like Echo as you know his outfit and all that, because he had like a horn demon mask but that'll do it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future let me know in the comments below and drop a like on the video and i will see you guys next time take care see you later